Yo, what's up guys? Today's video is going to have a bunch of Bulls news and continue to leave more mailbag questions below. You guys know I love doing that. So yeah, let's get right into today's video. You know, the other day some big news came out that the Chicago Bulls fired head trainer Jeff Tanako. You know, his contract was up, so he was just pretty much waiting to see if Arturis was going to bring him back or not. And Arturis did not. This was 100% Arturis' decision. This was Arturis' pretty much second big move after firing guard Foreman. He also fired our head trainer. You know, Jeff joined the Bulls as an assistant trainer in 2008, so he's been here for a while, and he became the head trainer in 2014. You know, he came to the Bulls after eight years with the 49ers, and this move makes me really happy as a Bulls fan. You know, the Bulls have always had injury problems, you know, so it's good to see that Arturis is making the hard changes that he needs to make. You know, like, like I said in my past videos, Arturis said he's going to give everyone a fair chance. You know, he's going to review everyone. And considering all the injuries that have, you know, happened to the Bulls players, honestly, since 2008 and since 2014, it's just been a mess. I feel like every season the Bulls have an injury. I mean, we have way more than just an injury. We have a huge injury and many injuries that just follow. It's like a hill. We just keep falling down and down the hill. So I'm really happy that Arturis made this move. Hopefully we get a new medical slash training staff, you know. Because obviously the old medical and training staff, you know, the aspect of them around the team just, it wasn't doing well because the Bulls players continue and continue to get hurt. And it, I hate to see it because just last season, I felt like the whole Bulls team was pretty much injured. You know, our main young core can't stay healthy and, you know, play together. And that sucks to see because who knows the potential of our young core if they can't stay on the, you know, the basketball court. So hopefully our tourist brings in a new, you know, medical and training staff to prepare these guys and keep them healthier and keep them in better condition and train them harder so they don't get, you know, hurt as easy. So it is good to see that the Bulls are finally making this move because I've said it in a lot of my past videos, the Bulls are always hurt, man. So it just makes me happy to see that our tourist is making the hard changes that he needs to make as a GM or a vice president, my bad. And some more big news talking about, you know, the whole coaching staff and everything. Our Taurus has picked up the 2020-2021 option on assistant coach Nate L. I don't know how to say his last name, but he was pretty much hired in 2015 by Fred Hoiberg as a video coordinator. You know, he's widely respected by players and he also served as a head coach of the Windy City Bulls in 2016 and 2017. So it is good to see that, you know, the Bulls have at least an assistant coach right now because I saw a lot of the Bulls, you know, coaching staff and everyone else are already looking for new jobs because they know Jim Boylan's job is, you know, it's toast. It's just a matter of time before he gets fired. So that does surprise me. Our Taurus, you know, picked up the option on one of our assistant coaches. I thought he'd want to bring in pretty much a whole new coaching staff and head coach. But that's still, you know, I'm happy to see that at least one guy sticking around. If any other news or anything come out about that, I'll make sure to let you guys know and keep you guys updated, of course. But yeah, that's pretty much the main, you know, big topics in today's video so far. And the second part of today's video is going to be a mailbag. So continue to leave any questions you got for me below. And the first question in today's mailbag is, when you're not at work or doing YouTube videos, what do I do? You know, honestly, not really much, you know, besides watching the Bulls documentary and, you know, working and making YouTube videos, not really much. You know, the quarantine's still going on in my state. There's not really much I can do. You know, we're slowly opening up outside, which is good to see, but at the same time, you know, it's bad to see. But at the same time, I'm sick of, you know, staying inside. So, I don't know. It's just, I don't know. It's a crazy time to be alive, you know. Just wash your hands, wear your mask when you go outside. Just be safe, guys. And the next question is a face reveal. You know, I've said this in my past videos, but you know, you guys might have missed it. I don't blame you. But yeah, I'm probably going to do a face reveal when we hit 10K. So if you're watching this video and you're not subscribed, make sure you're subscribed because at 10K, you know, if you guys want to see what I look like, I will definitely do a face reveal if you guys want to. And the next question in today's mailbag is what what's the path that you think the Chicago Bulls will most likely, you know, take? Adding a star to build around through a trade, focusing on the draft, or working with the young core. You know, I believe all of that is key to be, you know, a good team in this league. So I believe our tourists will focus on all of that. 
you know, I do believe right now, you know, our Taurus' number one plan is, you know, focusing on the draft because he talked highly of our young core. He lights pretty much all of them. They just, you know, can't stay healthy, like I said earlier in the video. And it also doesn't help that Lori Markkinen regressed a lot this season. You know, our Taurus said he wants to know why. And he'll most likely fire Jim Boylan because I believe that's a big reason why. Of course, you can blame it on the injuries as well. But yeah, I truly believe Jim Boylan will be fired. And hopefully the Bulls' young core will come back way better next year and more prepared. And hopefully they can just stay on the court, man. Because I'm really high on these young Bulls. They just need to stay healthy. They all have potential to be like really good players in this league or even stars, some of them. You know, I believe Zach Levine should have been an all-star this year. I hope he should be one next year. You know, it sucks he wasn't one this year with, the, you know, the all-star game being in Chicago. But, oh well, I believe he will be next year and I believe the Bulls will be a much better team next year. But at the same time, Chicago is a big city, you know. It's a, it's a beautiful city. I hope, you know, after people watch the Bulls documentary, that attracts a few stars here. You know, Anthony Davis is a free agent in 2021. The Bulls have a lot of cap space in 2021. There's going to be a lot more free agents too other than Anthony Davis. So I hope these young Bulls put on a show next year and, you know, make the playoffs, attract the star to come here and, you know, contend for a championship. I mean, I, I believe that would be the best case scenario. I feel like that'd be really dope if AD come, came home, but at the same time, I really don't see him coming home. You know, he's in Le he's in LA winning, trying to win championships with LeBron, so I don't blame him. But like I said, there's a lot of big name free agents in the 21 summer free agency. So I hope the Bulls play well next season. You know, they have a lot of cap space, like I said. Hopefully we can snag a big name. That'd be really cool. And it'd be good for, you know, the Bulls. Because we have not really ever signed a big name free agent. And I'm getting sick of it. So hopefully it's next off season. And the next question in today's mailbag is, do you play video games? And if so, what kind? You know, yeah, here and there I play Call of Duty. You know, the, just recently th there hasn't been that many good video games out. You know, I used to always get 2K and Madden, but they just copy and paste those games. It's the, literally the same game with different rosters. So I pretty much just stopped buying those. It's just, it gotten boring. You know, I'd love to make some 2K videos maybe one day on this channel if you guys want to see that. So let me know below. But I heard 2K has sucked these past few years. I haven't got 2K since like... 2k 16 i'm pretty sure maybe even you know later it just it hasn't been fun and the final question in today's mailbag is should we focus on getting better draft picks or should we focus on getting better players i mean the obvious answer is both of course you know good teams build through the draft and free agency but like i said earlier in the video the bulls need to really focus on this draft they need to get a stud at the seventh pick which we are projected to get which sucks but who knows, you know, the season is still suspended. Who knows what will happen or, you know, maybe we'll get lucky and move up in the draft. I hope so, but I honestly doubt it. But, you know, like I said, it sucks to get the seventh pick for the fourth year in a row, but the Bulls have drafted well. Let's be honest. We've drafted some good players with the seventh overall pick. They just need to stay healthy. The Kobe White pick, you know, that pick, I don't know, man. Kobe's looking like a star. I, I have high confidence on that kid. I have, I'm really high on that kid. I'm excited to see what he can do next season for us. But yeah, like I said, the Bulls really need to nail this draft coming up. Of course, we're, I believe we'll draft well. It's the seventh overall pick. You really can't do that bad with it. I hope we're, we'll add a good young player to this roster. And like I said, hopefully make the playoffs and then add a big name in the next offseason. That would be my goal. I'm sure our Taurus's plan is somewhat like that too. I don't see any, you know big name free agents coming this offseason the free agency class this offseason is really weak and i don't see the bulls making any big time trades so you know like i said the bulls young players just need to improve make the playoffs and try to attract some big name free agents in the 2021 offseason but yeah if you guys enjoyed this video make sure you leave a like and subscribe like i said i'm gonna do a face reveal at 10k so make sure you're subbed and continue to leave more mailbag questions below Thank you guys for all the love and support recently and watching this video. Have a good one.